one goal. That's all we have so far in our NHL career. And now we're taking on Sidney Crosby and the Pittsburgh Penguins. No objectives at this time. That's a positive for us. As we play our second home game in our career mode, we're 0-3-0 so far. And we've had a rough start. One goal in our career so far. We haven't had a lot of ice time. And in three games, the Montreal Canadiens have only scored two goals. Maybe that'll all change right now. We're wearing the reverse retros and we're on the ice. And immediately the play goes offside. Looks like the lines have changed up a little bit. We're playing left wing in this one. We've lost the last three games. We're in the Montreal Expos reverse retro jersey. There's Petrie and through the line. He gets it to Gordon. Gordon says shoot for the rebound. I did. And Casey DeSmith makes the save. Good first effort there for Gordon. As he's trying to get in the good favors here of tall Marty St. Louis. Here's Gordon through the zone. He'll throw it behind the net to Dvorak. Good pass there. The shot onto Smith. Good stop there. Dadnov in. Can't get it and we'll go for a change. That was Gordon's only shift of the period. It's 2-1 after 1. And tall Marty St. Louis still not liking Gordon. Not giving him the ice time. But at least the Canadians have two goals in this episode so far. Long stretch pass for Gordon. Is he behind the man? No. But he does a spin move off the tank. Cuts to the front. Well aimed shot there. Stopped by DeSmith. Great break there for Gordon. But he doesn't get the goal. And again, that was Gordon's only shift of the period. The Penguins get two. Canadians get one. It's 3-3. Three, three as we head to the third period here. Somebody took a five minute major penalty. Was that Romanov? His name did pop up. So some penalty kill time here for Gordon. There's a tough stop there from Carey Price, but he makes the save and he feeds it out to Gordon. Gordon behind the net. Tries to go D to D there, even though he's not playing D as the Canadians flew the zone there. Now here's a shorthanded chance for Dvorak. Straight through the middle. Dvorak finds Gordon. Behind the net. Gordo's got the puck. Spins out in front. Smart shot. But an even better save there from DeSmith. Lots of goals in this one. Pittsburgh goes up 5-4 on that simulation. And now here's Gordon hopping off the bench. Bad change there by the Canadians. Carey Price has to make a quick save. Yuppie's on his feet behind the net there. And there's tall Marty St. Louis. He's going to come give us an assignment. Again, we haven't had much ice time, but the coach is saying, hey, keep applying the pressure, Gordon. We need a goal to get back in the game. He's not talking to Cole Caulfield there, the superstar on the team, but he's instead talking to me. Okay, I'm taking over this team apparently, Cole. Watch out. 7.28 to go in the third period. The Canadians looking for that equalizer. Gordon gets into the zone. He's roughed up there by Rust. No call on that play, but it's turned over. Gordon calls for the puck from Dvorak. He gets caught up there with Sidney Crosby. He moves the puck, but has nobody on the wing there to help him out, and Dumoulin will break the puck out of the zone. That's probably the last shift for Gordon. It is. The Montreal Canadiens drop to 0-4 on the season as the Pittsburgh Penguins pick up a win in a wild game which we barely saw any of we weren't on the ice for a goal against so that's a positive and the coach is saying there's no complaints all right jumping into game two of this episode we're back at the bell center in montreal about to take on the arizona coyotes who are two and one on the year montreal still looking for their first win back wearing the home reds here comes Dadanov with Dvorak. Finds Gordon. Stops up. Looking for a man. Throws it to the front of the net. Tipped away there. Gordon muscled off the puck there by Mayo. And it's an offensive zone turnover there from Gordon. Not a great look. Once again, Gordon's only shift of the period. The Montreal Canadiens don't score again, but they get off to that quick start. And they jump out 2-0 looking for their first 
victory of the season in game number five. Cole Caulfield leading the team in points. Really no surprise there. Gordon's only got one. Hasn't had much ice time, really. But he's had had a chances, so... Now he's looking for his first point, first goal on home ice. To get the Bell Center crowd on their feet and excited. There's an offensive zone turnover. Coach ain't going to like that. And the Coyotes are breaking back the other way. With a chance in front there. It's turned aside there by Carey Price. Defensive zone start here for Gordon. The quick shot block there. Now Dadnov's away. Dadnov in. Thrown across for Gordon. He stops up. He'll throw it behind the net. Dadnov. Gordon going to the front of the net for the, for the screen. Dadnov needs some help there. Gordon got all tangled up in front of the net. It is, but the Montreal Canadiens get another goal. 3-0 here. As we go to the third, Canadians looking for their first win of the regular season. Ooh, Chikrin answers. Gets a goal on Carey Price here early. Coyotes are back in it. We just got to shut him down here. Play some solid defensive hockey. Here's former Toronto Maple Leaf Nick Ritchie. Ritchie into the zone. Nice solid back check there as well. Now Gordon's free again. Gordon with speed. Gordon to the front of the net. That shot is, I think, deflected. Nice pass there. Working in front of the net. Oh, man. I just moved, and Billy Huso saw that and makes the easy glove save. I think that's our best shift of the episode so far. That's really not saying much. We will get another shift. The Canadians have gone up 4-1 here. I think the positive thing is that we haven't been on the ice for a goal against Coach Now we're just going to do the team thing here and try and get the get the win. Protect the lead. We're not going to go out and try and get another goal. We're up 4-1. Nice back check there. We're awarded for our def defensive effort there. And now we're out of the zone. Here comes Gordon. Coach is calling for a change, but Gordon says, no, I got this, Coach. Gordon, looking, spinning, loses the puck to... Toronto Maple Leaf, former Toronto Maple Leaf, Obey Kubel, who gets leveled on the boards. Cole Caulfield's off. Caulfield and Gordon straight up the gut. Gordon in front. Did that go off of his leg? Sort of felt like it. But I wanted to shift with the top boys, Suzuki and Caulfield. The Coyotes get one more. And the Montreal Canadiens have their first win in the regular season defeating the Arizona Coyotes. We'll take that. No points for Gordon. That's okay. First time he gets to salute the crowd at the Bell Center. Where is he? I don't see him. All right. Coach, what do we got to say? Can't complain about what you did out there. Once again, we'll say, sure, coach. On to the next one. All right, just about to jump into another one here against the Dallas Stars. We just had a cutscene that talked about how I helped out the homeless before the game in Montreal. Doing some good deeds for the community, I guess. Not getting much ice time there. There's a side-by-side -side comparison between Josh Gordon and Jason Robertson. I think there's a little bit of... Uh, um, a skill gap there for sure. Dallas won their last three games. Gurianov with a nice play there. Beats Gordon to the puck. Move it out, Carey. Oh man, I just got harassed there by Gurianov. Turned the puck over. Pavelski has got the puck now. And it's in the back of the net. I forced Carey Price to play the puck. And the end result, it's in the back of our net. Coach isn't going to like that. It's one nothing here for the Stars. The puck is cleared there. It probably had a chance for Gordon to get on a bit of a break there. A nice back check there by Gordon to get a stick on Robertson as he broke towards the net. That's a brutal turnover there. You just got to get that puck in deep, boys. Here's Dvorak with the puck. 
Dvorak, get the puck in deep. We're trying to kill off penalties here. Holy crap. And a good dump there by Gordon. Having some elite penalty killing here. At least we can do something right. Dvorak through center ice. Dadnov, quick shot there. Nice! Centering pass there. Gordon was right in front. Ottinger makes the quick stop. That's the best chance of our episode so far. Dallas does score. It'll make it 2-0 here. That's Gordon's only shift of the period. Still sitting on that one career goal. It's going to be a long year for the Montreal Canadiens. One second went by in that simulation. Why would you not just start me? I just don't understand EA Sports sometimes. All right, let's go. Shorthanded chance. Here's Gordon. Does he have the speed? Gordon stops up, waits, takes, smart shot. And Dvorak was there in front, but he couldn't get the rebound before Ottinger pounced on it. Couple of goals in that simulation period there. 3-1 Dallas. Gordon's gonna hop on the ice here. The Canadians have control in the zone, but they quick, quickly turn it over. Weidman holds the zone. Savard. Throws it up in front for Gordon. He scores! What a snipe there from Gordon. His first goal at the Bell Center in Montreal. The Canadians are within one. Soak up that moment, kid. Second point of the season. The Canadians are within one. And Gordon's going to stay on the ice here. Ten seconds into that shift, he gets a goal. Can he get another one here to even up the score? Oh, long stretch feed for Gordon. Does he have a step? He does. Gordon to the front of the net. Auditor makes the save. Oh, great look there for Gordon with a burst of speed. Almost doubles down for a second of the night. And now he's through again. Gordon to the front of the net. Finds Dadnoff. They score. Josh Gordon shows what he can do with some playing time, finds Dadnoff, gets the Canadians back level in this game. It's 3-3. And after that stellar display, tall Marty St. Louis says, no, 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 no. No more ice time for you. No challenges. No nothing. It's 3-3. We're headed to overtime. And apparently with no ice time, we're going to start overtime. Because that makes sense. Here's Petrie in. Petrie finds Gordon. This quick shot there. Badly aimed. Now Gordon tries to help out here. It's turned over. Gordon's got to get back to check Pavelski. He does. And now he's turned the puck over. Here's Gordon. Bursting with speed the other way. Gordon to the front of the net. And he's checked. That was a great look there. And now Gordon's going to step into it. Gordon to the front of the net. His shot is stopped by Ottinger. It goes straight up in the air. Great look for Gordon there with a chance to end it. That's probably going to be our only shift. It is. We're going to a shootout. We will get a chance to shoot in the shootout. Here's Cole Caulfield. He scores! Oh yeah, Cole Caulfield, make it snappy. Pavelski there. Nice little forehand backhand. Pass carry price. No, just a little flip over the glove. I actually really like that. Here's Suzuki. Suzuki in. Denied there by Ottinger. 
Tyler Sagan. Scores. Beats Carey Price. Now it all comes down to Jonathan Drouin. Can he score to keep the Canadians alive? He can't. And the Dallas Stars hold on here. Huge selly there from Ottinger. He got dismantled there by Gordon in the third period. But he had the huge selly there as he picks up the shootout win for the Dallas Stars. There's the huge selly there from Gordon. And here's that awesome assist to Dadnov. Finally, Gordon came through, probably because he had that great deed before the game, helping out the homeless people. Like everything's everything's coming up Gordo right now. And I think that's a good thing for the Montreal Canadiens.